Okay, this is taking apart the Sony Vio F series. So you want to make sure that it's off, unplugged, and then take the battery out. And there are quite a few screws to take out. If you want to take out the entire back cover, then you want to take all the screws out. If not, and you just want to get access to the LCD screen and the media cover. This is the media cover here. The keyboard and then the display off. Then there's less screws you gotta remove. First of all, so taking off the media cover and the LCD, you want to remove these screws. You're, you're going to need a small Phillips and you're going to take out this screw here, 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 and two more here and here. This six hold the media cover on. These two are for the hinges and these two are for the keyboard Okay, those are all the screws removed. Flip it around, open the lid, and from this corner here you want to lift up the media cover. Try not to use any metal shot thing, just some plastic or gentle pressure. And work it nice and slowly. This is the media cover. Now, removing the keyboard, if you want to do that, because there are ribbon cables that attach to the LCD. If you don't want to get the LCD off, you don't need to do that. But there are three ribbon cables that plug underneath the keyboard, so you want to remove that. Just start this corner here. Lift it up a little bit and pull it that way. We 
gentle and don't pull on it really hard. Now we're gonna find here a couple of ribbon cables and just pull this one nice and easy like this then the, this one there's a little black tab pull on that and there's your and there's your keyboard nice Oops. okay now what you want to do is these are the buttons for the media you remove, you remove these three screws you take it off these are the there, there is a ribbon cable here for the LCD there are as I said three one of them is right here the other ones here here I think this one's two I know we'll see and you want to remove the speakers there are three screws one here and then two more here underneath all that there are just I think four more screws that hold the hinges in place okay I'm not sure if I want to take the LCD off I think I just want to look at the wires here but I might need to so let's go this is the media cover and okay, this is the media buttons I think we should take a ribbon cable out. Oh, there's one right here. And there's one right here. Well, you can take whichever one out you want, I guess. This one needs to go. Okay, I don't know how to take this thing off. We'll just leave it on for now. Because we can access the, the ribbon cables here. So that's fine. Let's take off the speakers. And underneath the speakers there are two screws holding each hinge in place and this is where the wires go through
Let's remove the ribbon cables. Are the speakers okay? So just the, just these three here. Oops. Oh, and there are two more here and here so it's these three and these two here apparently I think I'm missing anything Okay, let's take other three screws that are left holding them. The LCD in place. It's trying to get a bigger screwdriver. Two more screws here. We should be done. Hold the LCD piece. Okay, this should be it, and you can just replace it if you bought a new one, or I have another video showing how to get the inverter board here that's broken on this one. Okay, thanks, bye.